What up YouTube fan, we in here, Anthony Talk Life, back with another video, Project 52, week number three. The theme for this week was red. Anything that inspires you with the color red. Now, since last week, I felt like I didn't really push myself enough. I wanted to push myself a little bit more this week. So number one, I decided to use my entry level Rebel T4i with the kit lens, the 55 to 250, just to use that gear, just to show that you can still use this entry level gear and still get some good images. Number two, I wanted to do a triptych this week. So basically what a triptych is, is it's three images that go together to help tell a story. So this week was a lot of fun. I went to Santa Monica Pier and really challenged myself to see what I could find there that was red. So without wasting any time, I will put this week's image on the screen right now. And let's get to it. All right, folks, coming in with the voiceover because this week I was on location with the GoPro, so I really couldn't record the video the same way that I have the prior videos. So I wanted to do this one at Santa Monica Pier for no particular reason. It just kind of came into my mind and I thought, let's go to the pier and let's see what we can find that is red and helps tell the story of the pier. So first things first, I came uh, up to this pier burger, which I have personally never been there, but normally when I'm here and it's not 6.45 in the morning, that place is really, really busy, along with the, the Bubba Gump fish place. But this pier, bur pier burger place is normally really, really busy. And since there was so much red, obviously that caught my eye first. And so I wanted to get some shots of that. Now I was really surprised at how many people were there. Come to find out they were filming something and half of the pier was closed off for some filming, which of course made this even more difficult for me. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. So I got those, uh, those shots of the pier burger there. So then I decided to keep on walking. I'm gonna come up to a red vending machine that I'm going to get a picture of. And it was more something just to be safe. It really wasn't something that I was expecting to be one of the images for this week. But typically when I do stuff like this, I want some fallback images. And so that is what I am doing here, getting a shot of that red vending machine right there to be able to have a fallback image just in case some of my other images did not work out. It was very challenging. Um, there was not a lot of stuff that was red that was meaningful. There obviously were, were things that were red, but I didn't want to just take pictures of just red things. I really wanted to find things that really would tell the story of Santa Monica Pier, if you were familiar with it. So right here, I am shooting the iconic uh, Pier Ferris wheel and the carts or whatever the thing those that they're called that you sit in. I don't know, uh, they are red and yellow. So I knew that I wanted to capture those in an image because if you know anything about Santa Monica Pier, I mean, as you're driving up to PCH, you, you typically will see this Ferris wheel first. Uh, so I definitely wanted to capture that. So I snapped some pictures of the red cars on the Ferris wheel. Uh, and here I think I am still trying to get some different angles. I was, you know, really playing around with angles to try to make sure I had a bunch of different variations to have something to play with in post. Now here, the reason why I left this in the video, because this, this, the images from this did not make it into the triptych. But the reason I left this in was because I just wanted to talk about, you know, the complications of photography sometimes and how there are times where things just don't work. Now, when I knew that I was going to the pier and I was doing red, I knew I wanted to shoot these tables for sure. Every time I go to the pier, I always get a funnel cake from a place that's close to where I'm standing right here. And I sit down at these tables and I eat that funnel cake. So I knew that they had these red and blue tables. So I definitely wanted to capture these tables because they're to me part of the essence of being at the pier but I really struggled with a composition. I could not find a composition that worked, that really filled the frame with the red. And it seems crazy because there's so many red tables, but every composition, it just, they looked more like a snapshot than something that was artistically planned. 
And I really didn't want this to be just taking pictures of something that was read and saying, here you go. I wanted to have a good composition to where the image was a somewhat strong image. And I just really struggled there. So after a while, and I was there for way longer than what you can see in this video, I just cut it way short. Um, so I took some shots and, and, and at some point I said, okay, let's, let's just move on. So I walked around here to try to get a different angle of the Ferris wheel. And I'm actually really glad that I did because the image that I used for this week came from this angle right here. So this is just a testament to where sometimes you really need to get different angles of the same thing because you never know what composition you're going to like when you get back on the computer. It's really hard to make that judgment when you're on location and you're just looking at the cameras on the or the, the pictures on the camera. So anytime I'm out in the field, I always try to get different variations of things. So that way I have some flexibility uh, when I get back home and I put the images back on the computer. So I got that image there. So now I was actually walking around to go into P Pacific Park here. And here's where uh, the guy stopped me and I realized that they were filming stuff. And it completely made sense why there were so many people. Because again, I was there at like 645. There's normally no one there that early, especially during the week. But they were filming, I think the show is called like Fahrenheit 9-11 or something like that. So that ate up almost half of the pier, which made it really difficult for me because I was really hoping to get some things in there that would be red because there's so much color back there. So that uh, that kind of had me worried a little bit on what I was going to be able to get. But I, as I was standing there, I saw a Route 66 sign. And if you're familiar with the pier at all, you know, Route 66 ends at the start of the pier. So I saw this sign and it was like a dark red. And so I thought that would be uh, a perfect image to get for this. So after I got that at this point, I was kind of in a rush to leave because I had parked in a parking garage. Notice this guy on the red right there on the with the red jacket right there. Uh, I was trying to get back to my car so that I can get free parking. Now, it ended up being that I somehow misplaced my parking ticket and I ended up having to pay the lost ticket price, which was annoying, but whatever. So right here, I turned around and just wanted to capture this guy with the red jacket. And that, again, was kind of more of a safe shot, just in case it was like if if the images that I have don't work, I wanted to have some fallback images just in case. So I captured that guy. Uh, there was a red bicycle on my way out that I don't believe I left that footage in the video. I captured that. So I'm going to put some images on the screen right now that are some images that didn't make the cut just so you can kind of see what I was doing. You know, I really had fun with this. It, it really did challenge me. I was using, you know, my Canon T4i with the kit 55 to 250. Uh, you know, it was it was good to challenge myself to try to find not only something that was read but help tell the story so it really was uh it really was fun this week and i was happy with the images that i selected you know if if you weren't familiar with the pier would they be iconic photos enough to where you would know that they were from santa monica pier probably not uh but you know the, there there wasn't i was a bit limited having to have something that was read if I was just there doing a triptych just to take iconic pictures of the pier, I think it would have turned out a little different. But for looking for things that were red, I was very happy with how everything turned out this week. There you have it. Week three is in the books. I'm having such a good time doing this. I'll be happy when I get past week eight, though, since that's the furthest that I've ever got. So I got a little ways to go. So I appreciate y'all support. I appreciate y'all pushing me, hold me accountable, make sure I get this done. I've been having fun. Hopefully you have been enjoying this. If you did enjoy this video or if you just want to support me, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me and it helps the channel. And if you like this video and you want to see more videos like it or you want to see some of the other videos that I've been posting, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and do like Anita Ward said and ring that bell. As always, you know I appreciate you. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you watching my videos. Until the next one, take care.